Hey everybody, Ray again. Guess what? Part four of the boat build. I've got the fiberglass on order. Don't know when it's gonna get here, but we're almost there. I'm gonna put the strakes on, uh, but first I'm gonna show you how we cut the strakes. I gotta snap a chalk line down the center of the boat and get my measurements so these are even. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. I'm very lucky that I had an old drafting table stand that I could use as a, as a bench. And the first thing I had to do was drill a couple of holes in in order to support my 2x4 because I do not have a table saw. So I do have a circular saw and I was able to just rip down two pieces at 45 degrees. Uh, and I'm going to use these uh, 45 degree pieces as the strakes with the, uh, the hypotenuse of that triangular shape against the hull of the boat. So the first part I got to do is establish my center line. You can see when I was building the boat uh, in the beginning I, I scribed uh, the center line. So I'm going to snap a chalk line all the way down to the center of the boat so I have a place to begin. I think I'm going to put in three. One on each corner and then one down the middle. So yeah, this boat is a little bit on the strong side. I'm kind of glad I went with a half inch bottom. Nothing to worry about. Like you've noticed before, I'm going to be using some Gorilla Glue, uh, polyurethane, Gorilla Glue. This stuff works great, I really like it. You saw me drilling some holes, it's a lot easier to drill it from here. I'm going to lay this and screw the uh, screws up from the bottom. That's just so I know where to stop with the glue. I think it'll be easier to put the glue on here, water this side, lay it down, call it, call it. Went ahead and put one screw just to kind of hold it in place, as you can see. That way I can get it maneuvered. And to get this to hold down, I'm going to use my tried and true method, the straps. Fell off. Well, there it is. You might see that the polyurethane glue is starting to foam. It's in there pretty good. You can see, there she is. Everything checks out. That's perfect. Now I gotta do this for the other side and down the center. Since it's just more of the same, I'm going to go ahead and cut off this and we'll come back when we're done. You can see here how that polyurethane fo uh, glue foams up. And this I just put on there so you can see it's kind of sticky and foamy. I usually just leave it alone and um, about an hour or so it'll be like this right here. See how that is? Quite hard. And I'll just scrape that off. Uh, you, this is very common. You're going to see, If you use polyurethane glue, this is what you're going to get. Uh, but it's no big deal. Just scrape it when you're done. I, I like to wait till it's hard. All right, here we are after putting the strakes on. And you can see I've got one down the middle, one on each side. 
I think this is going to work out fine. This is not a uh, speedboat or anything. I've got about eight foot of the of the bottom has strakes on it, which is probably more than I need. As you can see there, I'm not sure. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing this. You can see that uh, only the, f the, the first four foot of the boat doesn't have any uh, strakes on it, but I don't think it needs it. I think here you can see with the shape of the, of the uh, prow and the bottom, it doesn't really need strakes there. So there we are. Let's take a look at it from the other side and you can see how these came out real nice with the compound angles. I did all three of them that way. There you go. And over there too. So I'll have to put a fillet right in here and all the way around it so that there isn't in I'll have to sand these outside corners. I figured I can do it after it's in place. So you can see I actually had to scarf this joint. That's two pieces. It's because I started with a 12 foot piece. Didn't know how much I needed. And there it is from the back. As you can see I still have some work to do on the transom. But let's get a look. You can see how those streaks curve with the hull. And that's why I had to use the straps. You saw me uh, employing the straps. You can see how that curves with the hull. Very nicely. Let's take a look at the center one. The center one is by far the straightest. Okay, so I made that same uh, mixture of epoxy and sawdust and created these fillets. And you can see I went ahead and hit all the streaks. Uh, the reason I did this is so that when I lay the fabric over, it will actually lay in here. If it's a sharp corner, the fabric doesn't like to fold. Uh, these sharp points here, I'm going to take these down to about an eighth inch to maybe a three sixteenth inch radius to um, alleviate the same issue. It doesn't like any sharp corners. Um, but uh, I got to do some sanding. Before I end this video, I wanted to show you a little experiment that I did for the... Um, in preparation for glassing the bottom of this boat. Um, this here, you can see, is uh, the leftover epoxy and sawdust mixture from the bottom of the cup. Uh, I used to, every time I mix a batch, uh, the, the next day I would break it loose. What I want to show you is that I scraped this from the bottom of the cup, and you can see how rough the surface is. However, the surface that was in contact with the inside of the cup in direct contact with the plastic, you can see it's smooth and shiny, and you can actually read the uh, the indentations from the uh, markings of the bottom, uh, the markings of the bottom of the cup on this piece as well. You can see how glassy smooth that is. So that got me thinking. For the boat, I ended up uh, preparing this uh, experiment. This is a, the same half inch plywood that I used for most of the bottom, and I have two patches of fiberglass that a cloth. Uh, I prepared them both the same. Um, this morning, I wanted to unveil it for you, but the, but the, uh, the wind has uh, already kicked up. And what I did for this side is I had a sheet of plastic, and this is just like drop cloth plastic, that when I prepared the two patches, I embedded this on this patch right here. And like I said, when I got up this morning, the wind, it's a little windy today, blew off uh, the vinyl. So I peeled it off the rest of the way, it was only barely held on, <clears throat> and I wanted to experiment the texture, so I'm going to hold this up at the sun. You can see the side that did not have the plastic, it's actually a, a rough surface, the surface of the actual um, fiberglass cloth, there you, you, there you go. And that's about as smooth as I could get it, I couldn't get it any smoother. So that would require a, at least another coat over here and you can see I didn't I wasn't quite careful enough with it I just was seeing if this experiment would work I the area covered in plastic actually gave me such a smooth finish that um, I'm, I'm impressed with it I'm, I think this is what I'm gonna do for the boat I'm gonna put the fiberglass on and then uh, cover it in the plastic and it is such a smooth even finish I'm just gonna require a little bit of light sanding and um, I can paint it whereas this is gonna require another another coat, another top coat. So definitely this is going to be the way I uh, go uh, with the bottom of the boat. I'm going to save that for the next video, uh, the next part of the, in this series. 
where I glass the bottom and I think I'll be I'll have that boat in the water on the next video so thank you all for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all my future videos and if you uh, like anything about this particular uh, video this particular build let me know I, I read all the comments and I do respond and I'd love to know what you guys think thanks again